Hello YouTube, welcome to this video. Today's tutorial is going to be about geom entities. Now geom entities, if you don't know, they're like, they're similar to brushes, except from they can be scripted to do certain things. So, for example, you see this, you see these you see trees could be scripted to move in the wind or perhaps if you were to shoot something they would actually break and that's the difference between a geom entity there's no actual distinct difference by just looking you'd have to interact so for example these are geom entities because when I shoot them they break and I can in interact with them. This lobster cage is not breaking. There we go. See? If I had done that to a brush, that would not work. And just to demonstrate again, for example, that one of these is a brush and one is a geom entity. Let me just get rid of that you wouldn't be able to tell but if I use this missile hold on oops immediately you can see that the left one was the geom entity and this one is the brush because when I shoot it it's not it's not I can't interact with it like cry engine everything it pretty much everything is that pre pre written and that that geom entity that I, I just blew up was pre-scripted to to react to like that when I shoot it. So those are geom entities. If you want to use a geom entity, well, it's simple. You just go to geom entity under brush, and there's a list, whole list, like all of these things. If I was to if I was to shoot or something, you can actually interact with them. So those are geom entities. Um, well, that's it. Um, it's just a quick tutorial. Thank you for watching.